ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk brake discs and pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. In the area of the windscreen screen, remove the plastic cover by lifting the two plastic tabs. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the required area. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle, and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you've pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a flathead screwdriver, lift the holding spring on the pads, then take it out. Make sure you keep a finger on the spring during the operation to avoid it jumping out. Using a thin flathead screwdriver, remove the caps covering the caliper mounting bolts. Using a socket wrench and a 7mm Allen socket, undo the two caliper mounting bolts. You can now remove the pads. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. To unblock the disc, insert a thin flatted screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. Using a socket wrench and a 6mm Allen socket, undo the screw that holds the disc. Withdraw the screwdriver. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the two holding screws on the brake caliper mount. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. To save time, finish the removal by hand. Take off the brake caliper mount. Finish removing the disc retaining screw to remove the disc. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush. And once that is done, coat it with copper crease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Take your new brake rotor. Before installing the new disc, 
It is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc onto the hub and re-screw the fastening screw by hand as much as possible. Using a wipe brush, clean the brake caliper mount on the area of the pads. This will make it easier to put them in place. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand. And finishing with a socket wrench and an 18mm socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Reuse the screwdriver technique to stop the rotation of the disc. This will allow you to fully tighten the fastening screws of said disc. Take the new brake pads. Coat the end of the new pads with copper grease. Insert the new pad into the clevers by sliding it in. Remove the caliper and replace the pad on the piston side in the caliper. Put the brake caliper in place on the brake caliper mount, pushing it in as far as possible. Rescrew the caliper mounting bolts, ensuring that they're properly in their positions. Finish the tightening with a socket wrench and a 7mm Allen socket. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the caps back in place, clipping them in as you do so. Put the holding springs on the pads back in place. Ensure that the spring is fully inserted into the hole. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful. Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.